This question, we are asked to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. And the line AB is a line which passes through the point A and the point B, and their coordinates are given. Okay, so you have the point A, okay, which is coordinates of 4, 1. The point B, coordinates of 10, 15. We've got to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. All right, now, we've got to find the equation of a straight line. The perpendicular bisector is a straight line. So we need to find the equation of a straight line. Okay? And the equation of the straight line, one of its forms is y equals mx plus c. So we need to find what m is, which is the gradient of the line. Okay, the gradient of the line. And we need to find what C is. Now, to find C, we need any point of the line. Now, C is actually the y-intercept, the place where it crosses the y, the y-axis. Um, but in order to, for us to find it, we don't actually have to have the y-intercept. We, we can have any point on the line, and we'll be able to find it. So as long as we have the gradient of the line that we need, as long as we have the gradient of the line that we need, and we have any point on the line, any point whatsoever on the line, Okay, x, y, whatever, whatever it is. As long as it's on the line, then we can find the equation of that line. Now, we're not asked to find the equation of the line that passes through A and B, but we're asked to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of A, B. So we've got to know what the word perpendicular bisector means. Now, the word per perpendicular bisector has two parts to it. Perpendicular means at right angles. So the word perpendicular means at right angles. And bisector means when it's cut in two equal halves. When something's cut into two equal halves. Okay? So the perpendicular bisector of the line AB is a line that passes right through the middle between A and B and at right angles. Okay? All right. So we don't actually have to do a sketch. I'm going to make a sketch just to, oops, just to illustrate it for you. I'm going to do a little sketch. Okay? So... They're all on the positive side here, so I can just do this, I do this. This is not necessary, just, just to illustrate to you what's going on. you got the first point, which is 4, 1. That's not very straight, is it? It's straight now. Okay. All right, so the first point, which is 4, 1. Now, 4, 1 is going to be around here. Got the wrong pen out. Okay, so 4, 1 will be here. Let me just use this to get the pen back. Sorry. Good. So this is 4, and this is 1. So 4, 1 will be about this point here. That's a point A. And the point B is 10, 15. So let's say 10 and 15, somewhere up there. It's not accurate, it's just a sketch. Okay, so I'll say 10, is 10 to 15 is over there. So the line AB will go something like this. All right? This is, this is the, the line segment between A and B. There's B and there's A. Now the midpoint is going to be somewhere. The, so the perpendicular bisector is going to be a line that cuts through A and B right through its midpoint. Okay? So the perpendicular bisector will look something like this. Okay? So it cuts it right through its midpoint. Okay? And it cuts into two equal halves. That's the perpendicular bisector, and that's the equation that we need to find for that line. Right? Now, we know that this line passes through the midpoint of A and B. So that's one thing we need to find. We need to find the midpoint of A and B. That will help us to find a point on the line. Okay, the midpoint of the line segment AB. Now, to find the midpoint of a line, okay, to find the midpoint of a line, we basically have to add together the x coordinates of the two points. Okay, so I'm going to do 4 plus 10 divided by 2. That will tell me what's exactly halfway between them. Okay, so I have 4 plus 10 divided by 2. That's for the x coordinates. So that tells me halfway between these two points. And then I've got the, the halfway between the y coordinates, which is 1 plus 15 divided by 2, which would give me halfway between those. And that would give me, therefore, the midpoint. So 1 plus 15 divided by 2. So the midpoint 
is going to be 14 over 2, which is 7, and 16 over 2, which is 8. So that's a midpoint. So that's, we've found a point on the line. So that's ticked off now, right? Now we need to find the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. Now, what we know is, or what we should know, is that the gradient of a line that's perpendicular to another line is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the line itself. So if we find the gradient, now this is now a small m, if I find, I'm trying to find the gradient now, right? The gradient. Okay, if I find the gradient of AB first, now the gradient of a line is given by the change in y over the change in x. So it's like the change in y over the change in x. Okay, the change in y is 15 minus 1. You can just do it by the points. I can take these points, I say 15 minus 1, the change in y, 15 minus 1, over the change in x, which is 10 minus 4. That gives you 14 over 6, right? 14 over 6. Now, 14 over 6 is simplified to 7 over 3. So that's the gradient of the line AB. I need the gradient of the line that's perpendicular to AB. The line that's perpendicular to AB. Now, as I said, it's a negative reciprocal, which means you take the fraction, whatever sign it had before, it becomes the opposite sign, so that was positive 7 over 3, now it becomes negative, and then you flip the, or you switch the numerator and the denominator, the negative reciprocal. Reciprocal means where the numerator and the denominator, they swap places. So instead of being 7 over 3, it becomes negative 3 over 7. So that, that's now the gradient of the line which we have to find its equation. So now we know the gradient of the line we need is negative 3 over 7 and we know the point that it passes through is 7 and 8. 7, 8. Now we can find the equation of the line and there's two ways of doing that which I'm going to show you. The first way is the most popular way that most students like to do using y equals mx plus c. Okay, first of all, I'm going to see what format they asked us to write the answer in. They didn't ask us to write it in any particular format, so I'll show you what to do here. So we've got, this is our x coordinate, this is our y coordinate of the point that we know, and this is the gradient of the line. So we can replace the y with 8, which is the y coordinate of the point that we know on the line. And we can replace the m with minus 3 over 7, and we can replace the x with 7, they gave us an easy number that will help to cancel out. And the only thing we don't know now is our C. So we can cancel out minus 3 over 7 times 7. The 7s cancel out. So you're left with 8 equals negative 3 plus C. So therefore C is equal to 8 plus 3, which is equal to 11. So we can say Y equals MX plus C. We worked out M is minus 3 over 7. We worked out C is 11, so we can write Y equals um, minus 3 over 7X plus 11. Okay, that's the answer to this question. Okay, we could have also done it in a slightly different way. We could have used the other formula, which is Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus x1, okay, where m is minus 3 over 7, and uh, y1 and x1 are these two points here, you that that's x1 and that's y1, that, now that will be called y1 and x1, so we have y minus y1, so y minus 8 equals the gradient, which is minus 3 over 7, times, and we got x minus 7, so if you rearrange this, okay, um, you can get the answer, you can have y minus 8 equals minus 3 over 7x, y minus 8, minus, and you're going to have minus 3 over 7 times minus 7 gives you plus 3. So then when you add 8 to both sides, you end up with y equals minus 3 over 7x plus 11, which is the same answer as we got this one. So there's two ways of doing that at the end. Okay, so that's how we deal with finding the equation of the perpendicular bisector of a line. I hope that was clear.
Is there any any question you have about that, Yeah. Okay. 